Hi everybody, this is the Tong Man. I got my box today. Um, I'm looking to do some autocrossing this year. So I'm trying to stiffen up my uh, rear end of my Civic. And uh, I thought that uh, the Progress uh, rear sway bar would be a, a good upgrade to go to. Um, this is the 24 millimeter um, rear sway bar. Progress also makes a uh, 22 millimeter um, rear sway bar, but um, I think that uh, this would be the better buy because um, uh, it's uh, this sway bar is adjustable, uh, three-way adjustable, and uh, comes with uh, end links and uh, also um, reinforcement um, brackets so that you don't break your uh, subframe mounts where the end links are and uh, let's go ahead and uh, unbox it so first here's a uh, hardware this side here. And that's all there is in the box. There's that actual sway bar. Okay, so it's pretty uh pretty thick sway bar here. So as you can see here there are three holes and uh, they're adjustable. You could um make them uh make the bar um much more firm or you make it looser. Let me uh, take out the provided uh, hardware and show you guys. Okay, so um, I got all the hardware that's provided out. And um, as you can see down here, these are the um, upgraded inlinks. These are adjustable. So you can make them uh, longer or shorter depending on how stiff um, you want your bar to be and these are the brackets I don't think you'll be using the one to the right here it's uh, for the R18 guys but uh, you'll be using these these will be the uh, reinforcement brackets for the end links and then these are the bushings and uh, the replacement bushings for the thicker sway bar because you can't reuse the the stock uh, bushings because um, it'll be smaller and then um, your various uh, nuts and bolts and washers and then they did provide a 3M scotch wheel uh, thread locker and uh, I would assume this is the grease for uh, for the bushings and um, instructions how to um, install it should be fairly easy to install um, doesn't look that hard. And again, here's the bar. Okay, well, here's everything. I'm gonna probably install it later this week and uh, probably do an impression because uh, from the reviews I've read, everybody who upgraded to the 22 millimeter bar claimed that uh, it's night and day difference. So, um, I guess we'll see with uh, this uh, new 24mm uh, uh, progress rear sway bar. I decided to go with the 24mm uh, version rather than the 22 uh, because uh, the 22mm bar is uh, non-adjustable so it's just one setting for uh, for everything but then the um, this one is adjustable and comes with the inlinks, which by itself, the inlinks would be.
be around 80 bucks so um, it's a it's a pretty good deal if you uh, decide to get the 24 millimeter because the 22 millimeter bar doesn't come with inlinks and it's a good upgrade for you to uh, to have if you're gonna upgrade your uh, your sway bar um, the 22 millimeter bar is around um, 190 shipped and uh, this 24 millimeter bar is 265 dollars shipped so uh, if you consider the upgraded inlinks that progress provides it's actually a really good deal than um, the 22 millimeter bar so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this in and um, thanks for watching